everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Rocky Beanie, which you can see here in front of you. Now the Rocky Beanie is a very fun crochet beanie to work uh, and I've worked it in a very unique way, which uh, I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, instead of working from the top down or the brim up, we're going to be working the beanie in rows uh, from side to side. So this is the beanie here. It's full of texture. It is has a little bit of a slouchy fit in the video here. I'm going to show you how to make it for an adult head. and uh, But it is very easy to change the size of, which I'll explain in a few moments. So this is a Rocky beanie. I'm going to be working it in a 100% acrylic yeah, uh, worsted weight yarn. I'm using the High, uh, Heartland yarn by Lion Brand uh, in the color Dry Tortugas and uh, it's, uh, it's a great yarn to work with. It's super soft. There's about 250 yards in each ball and you're going to use almost all of this so I'd recommend about 220-230 yards to make your beanie. A little bit more if you are going to be uh, making your own pom-pom. The pom-pom is optional to add to the top. Along with your yarn you're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I also invite you to check out some of the other crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. There are many other crochet beanies. Uh, such as this Rocky Beanie uh, that you'll find here on my channel. Now I've already mentioned that we're going to be working our beanie in a slightly unique way and we're going to be working it in rows. So what we're going to do is taking your yarn, uh, you can either start your beanie in uh, one of two ways. You can either make a magic ring at the very top or you can chain 10 and join with a slip stitch in that first. So I'll show you the chain 10 option first. So you can make your slip knot, chain 10, and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch to make a ring. and then continue working your beanie. So that's the first option. The second option which I'm going to do here in the video uh, today is you're going to make a magic ring and leave a little bit of a longer tail when you make your magic ring and then uh, work into your beanie that way. And what we're going to do with the magic ring is we're going to use that to close the top of our hat when it comes to the end. So to make my magic ring I have my fold over my yarn. I'm going to pull this down so I have a little bit of a longer tail. I simply cross it over like I would for my slip knot and then using the working yarn bring it up under and kind of place it on my hook. It's a little bit finicky to work at first but I kind of insert my fingers through the hole just to keep it uh, fairly loose and then chain one. Now as we're working our beanie we're going to work around this magic ring and then at the end we can just draw it close. So regardless of how you start you want to start with a ring up at the top and then you're going to work a foundation chain and that chain is going to be a total of 46 chain stitches. So uh, simply chain 46 stitches extending out from your magic ring. There's 10, Forty-six. 
Now, if you would like to adjust the size of your hat, so say you want to make this hat for a child, uh, simply find a hat sizing chart online, find the desired height for your age group of your hat, and work your foundation chain to that desired height. And then you may want to add uh, about half an inch to an inch more because the chain does shorten when you work into it. So once you've chained 46 for your foundation chain, my magic ring is down here at the end. I have it looped on my finger so it doesn't get lost. You're going to begin row one. For row one, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each of the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, and nine. So you should have 10 single crochet stitches all together. Oh, I only have nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need one more single crochet. You wanna have 10 single crochet stitches all together. This is going to be the brim of your hat. You're then going to continue working along the foundation chain, working a total of 35 half double crochet stitches. So work a half double crochet in each chain all the way up to your magic ring. Once you come all the way up to your magic ring, you'll have a total of 45 stitches 10 single crochet and then 35 half double crochets. At your ring, you're going to slip stitch into the center of your ring. This does not count as a stitch. Then chain one and turn your work. You're then ready to begin row two. For row two, we're going to work in the third loop. Now we're now looking at the back of our half double crochet stitches. You have the top two loops here on your hook. When you look at the back of your stitch, you see this loop running along under the top loop. That's your third loop. So you'll want to insert your hook under that third loop only and work one single crochet. And you want to do this in each uh, of the first five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And this is pushing the top of your work forward to create this nice little ridge there. So once you've worked five single crochet stitches in the third loop, you're going to continue working in the third loop. And in your next stitch, you're going to work a bobble stitch. To work your bobble stitch, yarn over, Insert your hook under the third loop of that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Do that a total of five times. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Once you've repeated that five times all in the same stitch, yarn over and draw through all six loops on your hook. That's your bobble stitch made. You're then going to work a single crochet, continue working in the third loop in each of the next three stitches. So one, two, three. We're now going to repeat that all the way down to our single crochet stitches. So until we have 10 stitches left. So th uh, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, followed by a bobble stitch in the next stitch. And 
and one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Continue that all the way across to your 10 single crochets. Once you've worked your bobble stitches and single crochets all the way across to your 10 single crochet stitches, you're going to, in your single crochets, working in the back loop only. So now we're moving, we're not working in that third stitch. Looking at the top of your stitches, it's that horizontal bar that's the furthest away from you that loop that's furthest away, you're going to work one single crochet in each of the final 10 stitches working in that back loop only. This is going to give us the ribbing down at the bottom of our hat. And that brings you to the end of your row two. So this is the back side. All of our baubles are there on the front. At the end of row two, you can chain one and turn your work. For row three, working in the back loop only, single crochet in each of the first 10 stitches. Next, you're going to work under both loops. So we're just working our normal stitches now under both loops. You're going to half double crochet into each of the next 35 stitches. So half double crochet into each stitch all the way across up to the ring at the top of your hat. At the end of row three, you're back up by your ring slip stitch into the center of your ring, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to be working into our third loop again and you're going to single crochet into the third loop uh, in the first 35 stitches and then when you come to your brim you're going to switch to working in the back loop only and work a single crochet in each of those final 10 stitches. So work a single crochet in the third loop in each of the first 35 half double crochets and then a single crochet in the back loop of your final 10 stitches. I'm now at the end of my row four, working a single crochet in the back loop only of each of those final 10 stitches. You'll be able to see the ribbing now coming through in your hat. At the end of row four, chain one and turn your work. For row five, working in the back loop only, single crochet in each of the first 10 stitches. Now working under both loops, half double crochet into each of the next 35 stitches and join with a slip stitch into the center of your ring. At the end of row five, slip stitch into the center of your ring, chain one and turn your work. We are now going to repeat rows one through to five 
for a total of 14 times. So repeat rows 2 to 5, 14 times. That row 2 was the single crochet in the third loop only in each of the first 5 stitches, followed by your bobble stitch, followed by a single crochet in each of the next 3. And then continue on with the pattern. You're going to work that to 14 times. At the end of this, it's going to fit uh, an adult head. So have a circumference uh, when it's slightly stretched of about 20 to 21 inches. Now, if you would like, again, if you're adjusting this, say for a child, or you would like a larger head, you're simply going to work this part of the pattern until it reaches the desired size. So if you want to go to 22 inches, you're going to work a little bit longer. If you want to work it for a child's or a infant's head, uh, and uh, you want it to be closer uh, to a lot smaller, maybe 25, maybe 30 inches, then uh, you're going to only work it to that width. And then you can meet me back here and I'll show you how to finish off the Rocky Beanie. Once you have worked the repeat 14 times, you're going to end on a row four, which was your single crochet row. Uh, in the back loop and then in the third loop. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to be all kind of bunched up here near the top by your magic ring or your chain 10 ring and then down through to the bottom. Again, it might look slightly different if you've decided to change the size. Well, it's now time to uh, work a seam along the length of our hat. To work the seam up the side of your hat, you're going to take your beanie and with the right side facing in, you're going to fold your hat inside so that, uh, fold the hat so that the insides are touching and that your two long edges meet. We're then going to work a slip stitch seam all the way across. So working through both thicknesses, Insert your hook through the back loop only of each side. So first through the one side, then through the other, the back loop only slip stitch. And you're going to do that all the way across and up to the top of your hat, or you may have uh, ended up at the top and are working down, but you're just going to work the slip stitch seam, working in the back loop only through both thicknesses all the way across. Once you come all the way across, if you're up at the top of your hat, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your ring and you can then fasten off and fasten off leaving a long tail. To finish off your hat, for this part I like to leave it still inside out. If you're using the magic ring, you can very carefully pull it tight. If you're feeling a lot of resistance, uh, don't worry about it too much. Uh, you don't want to break that thread off, but pull it a little bit tighter so the opening of your hat uh, is a little bit smaller and then you're going to secure your magic ring and you can do that with a knot however you would like and then tuck in that end. You just don't want your magic ring coming undone while you're wearing your hat. Next taking the other long end that you've left attached or if you were down at the bottom and fastened off and woven your ends, just take another long piece of yarn and then I simply just stitched that small opening at the top of my hat closed. Just like so. 
Be sure again to make sure that that end is secure and then tuck it in and you can once again trim that end so it's not showing. Turn your hat so that it is right side out. Attach a tag if you would like as I have done on mine and then a pom-pom if you would like to the top of your hat. And then that's it. Your Rocky Beanie is then complete. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and if you happen to make this beanie, let me know down in the comments and be sure to share a photo on social media. Give Rich Textures Crochet a tag and uh, I'd love to come and admire your work. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.